The captive portal serves the purpose of verifying user authentication before granting access to web resource. When a user attempts to access web page or resource, they will be redirected to the authentication page until they have successfully authenticated. Once authenticated, the user will have access to requested URL and other resources as permitted by the access policy. It's also possible to configure captive portal to allow access only to a specific user group. Captive portal can be hosted either on FortiGate or an external authentication server and can be configured to work on any network interface including VLAN and Wi-Fi interface. On a Wi-Fi interface, the access point may appear open, allowing clients to connect without needing security credentials, but they will be redirected to the captive portal authentication page before being granted access to any web resource. Okay, let's do configuration. As you can see, this is my topology. I have one Windows Server and Firewall here. At the first, I'm going to configure interfaces. Click on interface under network and select edit. This is my WAN interface, write the name. Click on OK. This is our local interface, edit it, write the name. This is IP address. I am going to activate DHCP server on this interface. Default gateway and DNS server as the interface IP. Okay, let's check internet access of the server. At the first, check IP address of the server. The server cannot get the IP from DHCP server. Let me check the problem. I am going to check visual switch. That's internal visual switch. And also check port to a firewall visual switch. Yes, port to assign to internal visual switch, but it's assigned to VLAN 2. Let me check on the server. Yes, as you can see, I'm not enabling VLAN identification here. I'm going to enable and write 2. Okay. Disabling and enabling interface. Okay, as you can see, our server get the IP from the DHCP server. You can see the IP address and default gateway. Check the internet connectivity. Sorry, I forgot to write a policy for accessing internet. Firewall policy. Create new. Write the name. Incoming interface select local network and outgoing interface one. This is because for test purpose I select all for the source and destination and also server. Don't touch to the net. 
in new version of FortiGate, I have a default policy expiration. I'm going to disable that. Okay. Also, that's coming with new version of FortiGate. Write the note to this policy. Click on OK. Let me check the internet connectivity again. Refresh the page. OK, as we can see, I have access to the google.com. OK, continue to configuration. Going back to interface, select our local int network because I am trying to run captive portal on this network. Edit it. Enable security mode. Select captive portal. As I told earlier, you can select the local or external captive portal. I am using local. If you allow all, all users of the firewall can be authenticated through this captive portal but I'm going to restrict the group select the user group because I don't have I'm creating write the name of user group you can use firewall local user group or also active directory user groups I'm using a firewall local user group. Click on member. Because I don't have any user, I'm going to create a new user. Also, you can use radius user, LDAP user and remote users. But for test purpose, I'm using local user. Write username and password. Next, next, submit, add this user to this group, click on OK, select this group, exempt source, if you want to some source IP address or some users to don't be authenticated through captive portal you can write here but at this time I don't have any expectation for the source except destination service will be grant access to a specific URL or a specific service I am going to create address select FQDN write the name of address and also write the FQDN Click on OK. Because I write, because I access to the sceneonline.net, all users can access to this website without authenticated through this captive portal. After users authenticated through captive portal, I can redirect it to the specific URL. I am redirected them to the yahoo.com. Click on OK. Okay, as you can see, it resolves in online IP address. That's time to test this configuration. Going back to Windows Server. I write sceneonline.net. As you can see, because I add to the exception, it will be accessed without any problem. If I write any website address, as you can see, when I'm going to another website as a Microsoft.com, I'm redirecting to authentication portal. Write the username and password.
continue okay i'm redirecting to yahoo.com as i configured as you can see here if i check original request i will be redirected to the microsoft.com because i request microsoft.com website let me the authenticate user where is user monitoring i can't find let me check users it's not here it's not here okay i'm going to add to from dashboard search user add viral user monitor okay as you can see see online authenticated here and this is ip address i'm going to the authenticate okay try to authenticate again write the username and password click on continue okay as you can see i'm not redirected to yahoo.com because i changed the configuration let me check firewall user monitor again as you can see you can check the user statistic from here i hope this video is useful for you to secure your network and you can authenticate users from the web without any external captive portal if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and like video also if you have any question you can ask in the comment have a good day bye bye